Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, in a previous Lifestyle Medicine Update, I reviewed the research showing that the addition of the amino acid L-taurine at 3,000 milligrams a day to the use of antipsychotic drugs was shown to improve the management of schizophrenia in young people who were unresponsive to drug treatment alone. So L-taurine is a naturally occurring amino acid substance that is available over the counter and it's relatively inexpensive. Now more good news about the positive effects of natural supplements in the management of schizophrenia in young persons was published in the January 2019 issue of the Journal of Psychiatric Neuroscience and Therapeutics. So prompted by the fact that many patients with schizophrenia are known to have high blood levels of homocysteine Researchers decided to perform a randomized double-blind uh, placebo-controlled study involving 120 patients with first-episode psychosis or schizophrenia. Now, half of the patients received a B vitamin supplement cocktail each day for 12 consecutive weeks that consisted of folic acid, which is a B vitamin, 5 milligrams, vitamin B12, 400 micrograms, vitamin B6, 50 milligrams. The other half of the patients were given the placebo pill. The researchers chose folic acid and B12 and B6 as the test agents because these vitamins are known to lower homocysteine blood levels when homocysteine levels are high. There are no drugs that can do that. No drugs lower homocysteine. The body relies each day on folic acid, B12, and B6 to recycle homocysteine back to other amino acids like methionine and cystathionine. It's well documented that some people have inborn genetic errors that hinder their ability to recycle homocysteine back to methionine and cystathionine so the homocysteine levels build up and leak into the bloodstream, creating a high blood level of homocysteine. Now, providing these individuals with specific doses of these B vitamins as supplements can overcome the genetic impediment and lower homocysteine levels even in these cases where there's a genetic inborn problem bring that homocysteine down into the normal range. And this is important for a number of reasons. High homocysteine levels in the bloodstream can damage the blood vessel wall and it increases the risk of heart attack. High homocysteine is also linked to an increased risk of osteoporosis. And studies show that high homocysteine can also damage brain cells, hence the potential link of high homocysteine with schizophrenia. So the results of this study showed that after just 12 weeks, homocysteine levels were reduced significantly in the group receiving the B vitamin supplement cocktail. And these patients also showed, these were patients with psychosis, schizophrenia now, they showed improved attention and vigilance scores, whereas the placebo group continued to show a decline in attention and vigilance. In females with effective psychosis, the B vitamin supplementation group also showed improved neurocognition in select areas of testing. So the researchers conclude that this B vitamin cocktail showed neuroprotective properties in attention vigilance, particularly in patients with elevated homocysteine levels and in effective psychosis in females. So my thoughts on this are simply that every one of us should ask their doctor to include a homocysteine blood test as part of your annual physical examination and lab evaluation, as I have done. High homocysteine levels can contribute to the risk of heart disease, stroke, osteoporosis, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, schizophrenia, psychosis, and in women it may detect a genetic defect that increases the risk of giving birth to a child with spina bifida or other, another type of neural tube defect. The good news is that high homocysteine, if it's discovered, can be lowered with supplementation of targeted doses of certain B vitamins or certain forms of folic acid and or another natural supplement called trimethylglycine. The ideal blood homocysteine level to shoot for is under 8 micromoles per liter, or more ideally below 6.3 micromoles per liter. Now the 2019 study in the Journal of Psychiatric Neuroscience and Therapeutics has brought to the forefront the benefit of adding a specific B vitamin supplement cocktail to the standard treatment of first episode psychosis schizophrenia, especially in cases where high blood levels of homocysteine are detected, which is often the case in these patients. So I've included a link to the research paper in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.